Hey everyone, it is Jack again with Toy Dojo, and today I'm going to be bringing to you the Power Baser MB06 from Fans Hobby. Now this is Fans Hobby's take on a Power Master Optimus Prime, or if you prefer to call him Jinrai and God Jinrai, um, do what you may, I'm going to call him Power Master Optimus Prime. So I wanted to bring this guy out to you guys last week, but some things came up, and then I ended up getting in um, MP39, so went ahead and did that. And here we are, let's see, two days removed from Christmas. Uh, so if you guys celebrated Christmas, I hope you guys had a great one. We've got a few more uh, a few more days before the new year. So I wanted to put this guy out and uh, just say thank you guys again for all that you've done. Um, I've grown my fan base from, I think it was like 300 and something, uh, to over 3,000 just within a matter of a year. So I appreciate all of you guys that have subscribed. And, and again, just thank you and Going into next year, I hope to bring you guys a lot more awesome figures. So let's jump into this figure here. I wanted to show it off and give my thoughts and, and let you know whether I personally think it's worth the, I think it's almost 200 if not $200 asking price of this figure. So let's jump into it. First, we'll take a look at his box. And I have his box right here. And it's a nice box. And then that fell off. But we'll talk about that. So MB06 Power Baser. Really cool artwork on the box right there showing the figure off, showing the glowing eyes there. I like the way that looks. That looks cool. It's like an explosion that happened right on top of the earth. Um, that'd be scary probably in real life to have an uh, explosion that massive, but uh, that looks cool on the box. Now, on this side of the box, you can see his trailer and cab mode there, which is cool with all the weapons on it. Come around to this side here. You've got him with his glowing eyes, which I do not have batteries for. I would show it off. And then high Q and his base mode. So now if I got this as a child, I'd be like, man, this is freaking cool because that just looks awesome. It looks like really fun to play with. Going to the bottom of the box, you can see his different modes there. Combined all the way up here, here, showing the glowing eyes, robot modes, high Q in his back, truck mode, base mode, just all different things that you can do with him right there. So really cool looking box. His accessories, he comes with an extra set of eyes that you can use to swap out on the Power Master head, which is real easy to do. Uh, and I'll show you how that's done. I'm not gonna swap out the eyes, but I'll show you how easy it's done. So there's the extra eyes that comes with it. And uh, this fell off, I can tell, back here. But accessories, he comes with various guns. And uh, we'll go into those when I talk about this. So out of the box, he's gonna come in his trailer and truck mode, but I didn't put it in that one. I wanted to talk about this one first. Because this, I think, is the least impressive of the three modes. This is my least favorite of the three modes here, which is the base mode. I mean, it's okay, but it's not great. And I want to compare it to the M, uh, the I was going to say MP, the uh, G1 Power Master Optimus Prime uh, figure. So with that, I'm going to bring in the G1 Power Master Optimus Prime in his base mode right here and just kind of talk about the two. So, take a look at the both of them. They really both don't scream bass. They scream more like Battle Station to me. And so, uh, high Q, did you get shot, buddy? Take up in the All right. And then this high Q. So, the one thing I'm missing, or the two things I'm missing, are these two that go here, which are essentially these two, but for the G1 toy. So, I'm missing them. But even as an adult, as a kid, this thing got a lot of play out of it. But even as an adult, I think this one just looks a little bit cooler because I can drive little cars up here onto this side here. And up here, up here, I don't really have anywhere to drive toys onto, like little cars. So, uh, but you can see they actually have a lot of similarities. The arms fold up right here, they fold up right there. Um, the guns plug into the arms here, but up here they plug into the top. These plug into there, the double barrels, they would plug into there if I had them there. And uh, just as a kind of a base form, I just, I'm okay. I mean, it does the job, but it's not all that great, I guess. So, get this guy out of the way here and just kind of talk about this one here so my biggest gripe about this one and it may be nitpicking is the way these plug in up here to the top so these here form his giant rifle gun which we've known from Optimus Prime which is this big old blaster like this this is more for his power master mode and then you would have it this way for his regular Optimus Prime mode like that so anyways Talking about this and the way that it pegs in to this base mode here. Uh, let me get this back into there. Right there. So this is a rectangular peg. You can see that. But the hole on top of here is circular. 
So it doesn't really go, I mean, it kind of goes in there, but it doesn't hold in very well. And you saw when I started the video, it thing fell off. So just by bumping it. So I thought that was a disappointment. There's no other need for this here, except for this. So I don't know why they didn't make that rectangular. I thought that was kind of dumb. Um, these down here can rotate to the left and right, but they don't give any real up motion, which is what, as a child, I would like to sit there and play with. Let me bring this camera down. But for me, I would like to have my guy back and be able to raise it up, like if he's going to shoot the Seekers out of the sky, you know? But I can go down, but it's not all the way up. So for me, that's a nitpick. Now this one, though, this one does go all the way up, so that's cool. I do dig that. You can shoot it all the way up, and it comes all the way down, so if they're running up to him like this, he can start shooting out, do, 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 and then kill him. Now those don't hang on super well right there, but they do the job. So all in all, it's a decent one. It's not great. Uh, his head is back here, and I have it flipped around. It's got to go this way. But, you know, you can just imagine Prime standing back there and, and controlling it. So, and like I said, it's okay. It's just not my favorite out of the modes. So let's take these weapons off, and we're going to get them transformed up in a minute. But first, I want to discuss Prime. But first, I'm going to show how to change out these eyes here on this big head here. So it's just real easy. This, this just pops open like this. And that comes off that ball peg. And then the battery would sit right inside here, but I don't have the battery for it. So I cannot show the eye feature off, the light of eyes. But the battery goes inside there. And then right inside there, you can see where the eyes are. So all you got to do is just pop those out, replace it with the other eyes, and then you're set to go. So let's put this thing back together. Just put this back in here like this. And then again, it just sits there. It doesn't screw in, which is cool. It just kind of pegs in and uh, gives you easy access to change out those eyes. So... I will say that's one thing that's that's pretty good about it. So there's that. All right, let's look at Prime. Actually, let's look at Haikyuu first. So here's the Power Baser version of Haikyuu right here. And he's pretty good little size. He's taller than the G1 one uh, right there. I wonder if he's... Let me see. Just wanted to grab a few things off my shelf. So just to show how tall he is, maybe... He's obviously a lot smaller than this class here, which is the Legends class. Uh, next to Spike, which is from the Masterpiece Optimus, he's bigger than that. And I forgot what scale this one here is, but he's almost about this scale here, and I forgot which scale this was right here. Um, just to kind of show you the difference in the size of how big he is, he's a lot bigger, obviously, than the Titan Master, which is right there, the newer Titan Masters. So but looking at him next to his G1 counterpart, I mean, like I said, he's taller, but you can see where they look just about the same almost. The head, obviously, the detailing on the face is a lot more than it is on the G1 guy. But the chest is looking about the same. The legs, for the most part, are the same. They even have this right here where these are like the little pegs. But that has the same thing right there. And posability is decent. It's not 100% cool because, obviously, he's got a big old engine block on his back, which is nice and chrome, whereas the G1 is kind of a brownish. But the arms can't go all the way up. They fold right here at the elbow like this. These can go any which way you want. Ball jointed there. Got nice movement on the leg. So really cool for a small little guy like this. This guy here just does this number here. And then the arms move. So it makes me wonder. I know this is back in the 80s, but I feel like they could have actually made this much articulation in these guys here even back then. But, you know, I'm not a toy designer, so I don't know what the capabilities were back then. So... Anyways, let's get him transformed up real quick into his little kind of engine block power master mode. So just take the arms, flatten them out, turn to the side. That's going to peg into the thigh right there like that. And that peg into that hole right there. Close it up like so. Do something over here. Just take it, close it up, close it up like that. And just make sure that these are kind of spread apart. Just kind of push them in like that. There you go. Then we got them nice and nice and snug. So, all right, let's go in. Let's talk about Prime himself. Let me pull this up some. So, Prime himself, he's pretty decent. Here is his G1 counterpart right here next to him. So, obviously, he's a lot taller than the G1 Prime is, or G1 Power Master Prime. Um, the face sculpt is okay. I like the eyes. The eyes are a nice metallic blue. Uh, pretty, pretty good looking head sculpt, I guess. 
Head can move up. It's on a ball joint, so it can go any which way you want it to go. Looks down, but mainly at his chest. And then the arms themselves are a nice, strong ratchet right here. They go all the way around. They come out all the way to the top like that. They do have a double jointed elbow right there. So you can go and punch you. And then he does have an upper bicep swivel down here on the wrist. The wrist do rotate. The hands, um, or the fingers I should say, are all pinned in right here at the knuckle. You only get one articulated finger and that is the pointer finger. And at that it's only articulated right here. So you kind of have like a, kind of a bend finger like that. So there's that. Coming down to the waist, he does have a full waist rotation. A lot of that's for transformation, but he's got that there. Hip skirts here can move. Now these are real loose. So I don't know if it's like that with all of them, but these are pretty darn loose on this one here. The legs are on a nice soft ratchet right there. Come out to the side like this. Can go all the way up to the front right there. Can't come all the way to the back about that far right there. And do I have these up? Let me make sure. Yeah, these got to be pulled all the way up for his vehicle mode. Or his vehicle mode dummy. His uh, robot mode. So, all right, coming down to the knee, he's, well, he's got an upper thigh swivel. He's got a knee bend about so far. Coming down to the foot, he's got a foot tilt forward and backwards. This doesn't peg in anywhere. It pegs in down here for truck mode, but it doesn't peg in anywhere like that. And then he's got a massive toe tilt to the inside like that. Just straighten out to there, but all the way into the inside like that. So he's got heel spur that can also articulate, uh, mainly for transformation back into the foot. So pretty decent. Um, the one big glaring thing here is the gaps that are right there inside of him. You can see those gaps right there. So if that bugs you, you know, it's Soviet. I guess that's the best they could do because the tires will rub up against the hips right here. And so you can't get any more than that. But it gives him a good ab crunch. So you can actually look down at high Q. And be a high Q. What did you do? And make a rhyme all the time for Power Master Prime. Hey, you like that? It's all right. Anyways, just me clowning around. Let's go here. Flip that up. Get this out of the way. Come on, man. Don't do that. Get up. Use this just to pull this up. And there's no um, die cast on here. I thought maybe this was die cast, but it's plastic. And then I thought this was die cast because this is colder than like the other pieces. So I don't know if this is die cast or not. I can't tell. But uh, there's really no other die cast. Nice chrome wheels there. Looking at his back, he's got a lot of chrome on his back too. And obviously he looks just like the G1 Power Master in a sense that his uh, front of his truck is on his back there. So that's cool. Nice detail in there. I like those windows, a nice blue color on those windows. So just a lot of chrome. I like chrome. Chrome's cool. All right, let's go ahead and get him transformed up. We're gonna do his truck mode first, and then we're gonna do his... Um, what's it called, his Power Master form. Let's get everything out of the way so we can get ready for the transformation. Let's get this out of the way. Actually, you know, let's start with the trailer first. And then from the trailer, we'll go into and do the truck. All right, trailer, let's go ahead and start here. We're just gonna get everything and just kind of fold everything out and down. Hold these in. Hold all this stuff in. Like. So let's get this. You got to get everything straightened out basically here. Get everything straightened out like this. Just like so. And then over here on these parts here, just got to take these, rotate them up, pull these. Make sure they got to unpeg. Let's get down some. Yeah. Unpeg these from here, like this. I just like to do it this way. You can do it any which way you want. Just unpeg this right here. Come around. I like to get these two pegged into each other first. So there's a peg here and a peg slot there, which matches this peg and that peg slot there. Plug them together. Make sure that they're both straightened out. Plug them in together and then rotate them both down inside the cab part of the trailer right here and if they come undone just line it back up and do it again ok 
Come on, there we go. Just like that. Okay. Come over here, open these pieces up. One here, one here. And the plastic wall to me feels like the one that's on um, MMC's Feral Rex is what the plastic wall to me feels like. Let's so take this up. This is going to fold up right here. And you're going to have many spots that's going to plug into. So you got this peg going to that hole that's right there, right? That peg slot there. You got that peg hole, which is going to go into those pegs up there. You got this peg hole, which will match that peg right there. So that way all this gets tightened up pretty nicely. Just get it all lined up and then plug it all in together. Finding all the various ports and plugs, plugging them in like so. And then the head will come down and there's two pegs that are on the head right there, the neck area that peg into those spots that are right there. So take that, that'll come down and line it up and then just peg all that in. And if everything comes unpegged, that's okay. You can just peg everything back in when it's all said and done. All right, come down here. I'm going to take this stuff. This will fold in. Close these up. This will fold in. And these peg in, you can see right there, that peg will go into that slot that's right there. And just kind of push everything together like this. Coming down to the bottom. Take the legs and kind of push them in, I believe. Do they go in any more than that? Yeah, they do. Okay. So right here... And the one thing I will say about I like about the coloring here is a lot of a lot of figures when they make pegs they have them a different color but this one you can see that peg is the same color and so like you really can't even tell it's a peg button so I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing but uh, you just take that push it in and that'll allow you to slide this up right there and then these will peg into here on the side like this just kind of snap together right there same thing on this side over here take that just push that in together right there. Like so. And then coming up here to the top, you gotta take these. There's actually a little latch that flips up right here. And then these right here on the inside of the foot will flip up by the heels. One there and one here. Like this. So flatten them out. So when you push all this together, that's gonna slide into those grooves that are right there. And then these will slide into those that are right there. So take all this. Slide this in together, keeping everything straightened out. Slide it in, slide it in, like so. And on the top here, you can do the same thing. You're going to slide this piece over like this. And that's going to peg into that spot right there and right there. And what's crooked over here? Something's crooked. Maybe it's these. Yeah, push those in all the way. There we go. I think it's just better room right there. Okay. Then push that in, slide that down. You got to keep this part relatively kind of straight and then fold it down like that. So you got one there and do the same thing over here. Keep that one straight, fold that down like that. And that folds away. And then just pull, pull these down like this. And everything comes undone again. You just push everything down and get it all situated again to get everything pegged in and you'll be just fine. All right. So there is the trailer. Well, hold on. I forgot this part. Dummy. Pull out the tires. They're pegged in. You gotta pull them out right here at the bottom. And then take this up and fold that up right there. And that's gonna peg into the wheel well. Like that. Same thing over here. Pull these tires out. Can't drive with tires all the way stuck up. You can, you prime. And then again, take this. Flip this up. Just like so, pegging that part into there. And there we go. Now we got the trailer and flip this up like that. All right. So as a trailer, we're going to go ahead and work on Prime himself. All right. So Prime, we're going to start. Take the, fist, the fists. Rotate them in like that. Close that up. Take this fist. Rotate that down and up. Actually, you know, I didn't show us any size comparisons on this guy, so you guys can see. Let me grab something so we can compare this guy to. I'll leave that in like that. Give me just one second. All right, so there he is next to my Hasbro Skyfire Powermaster. Uh, I'm sorry, MP10 next to the Powermaster Optimus Prime, and then the KBBB Voyager sized uh, MP10. Which man, I love this figure. This one's awesome. Goes way well for your chug line. If you don't have one for your chug line, you gotta get this guy. He's really cool. 
So anyways, uh, just showing the size comparison, he is about as tall as MP10. So if you have MP10, you know just how tall he is. If you don't have MP10 and maybe you have one of these other guys, you can kind of see how tall he is there. So, or I can just grab my tape measure and show you in height how tall he is. Let's just do that. So from foot to top of the head there, probably nine and a half inches tall, I guess. About right, nine and three quarter inches tall. So there he is. All right, let's go ahead and transform him up now. So again, where I was before, get the hands, fold the hands in like so, flip this up like that, do something over here, take the hand, fold it down like this, flip it around, take these, rotate these around, rotate this one around like this, open these up right here, pull this forwards like this. I'll pull this out first actually. Pull down the waist and pull this forward. You're going to tuck in the grill right there and also the head like this. Pull out this red piece here. Flip that up. That's going to tuck away and store right there. These will come back, fold there. Uh, actually, they're not going to fold there. Just open this up. I'm going into truck mode, Goofy. Take that like that. Fold these up. And then the arms here, they're going to peg there. It's going to go to that peg slot right there. So take that up. Fold it up. Plug it in. Take this one up. Fold it up. Plug that one in as well. And this will close down onto that, which that always comes apart, just FYI. And then down here on the wheels, you gotta take these and pop them out. Sometimes they can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to pop out. So you just take that, pull it out, and it's just being a little jerk right now. The wheel comes down too, which I inadvertently did, but these gotta be pulled out of that socket right there. So let's see if I can get that. All right, that one's being a jerk. I just did that off camera real quick. Uh, see if this size can be any easier here. Just take that, again, pull it out and kind of down. There we go. And then pull it all the way. Got to have this thing all the way out. So you know it's out all the way when you can kind of see this uh, piece sitting on the outside there. Whereas over here, if it's like this, you don't have it 100% because that's supposed to sit flush like that. So take that and just pull that all the way out. There we go. Now we got it just like that. All right. Coming down here to the legs. Open these up, and these are normally pegging right there, they're right there. Open them up. And then on the side here, again, hit this button, push these in. Hit the button there, push them in like that. And we're gonna open these up here. There's one here and one here, like that. Get that ready. Down the foot, flip open the bottom of the foot, which is cool. I like the way these heel spurs hide them there. They hide them very cleanly. So hide them like that. Flip that one up. Hide that one in like so. Close that down like that. And these gotta come together. And once these are all the way down, you close this back up. And now that's gonna peg into that slot. We'll go into that peg right there, that gray one. So that closes that. Same thing over here on this side there. Close it up. And then these, so there's a blue peg here that's gonna go into that white slot right there. Same here. Just get that and make sure that it's pegged in to there. And this one, the same thing. All the while, you're also going to be pegging in these two pieces together. So let's see if I can get that done right, right there. Usually I try and do them both independently of each other, but it's probably going to be better if we just push them together like this. Hold these legs down like that. Or the feet, rather. And all the stuff will peg into the underside of his crotch right there, just like that. And then these will peg in, once you push the feet straight, these peg in right there and right there. And then the wheel wells, you gotta pull them down, let those wheels come down like this. That way he can roll. And all this is gonna fold up, and it's gonna tuck away back here. So there's some slots right here that are right there that go into some pegs that are sitting right inside there. So just take all this up, make sure that these are folded down too. And just get all this and up. And pegged in like that and like that. And there we have his truck mode. Close these down right here onto the side of the truck. And there we have the truck mode just like that. So it rolls really well. And let's pull this down some. And the way this connects is right here. There's this that connects just right here. It doesn't like peg in or anything. It holds okay, I guess. 
and give him the Polish trailer. That's really cool. That one looks really, really awesome right there. So bringing in the Power Master version, G1, you can see the way they look. Pretty similar. Uh, look really, really good together. They're actually the same height too. So trailer to trailer, the same height. Obviously, Power Baser is longer than G1 Power Master Prime. You can see that. But, uh, you know, relatively the same height. So as far as length, and actually, you know what? We didn't close this off. I just saw that. Before somebody says, hey, you forgot to close that off. And still somebody's going to say, hey, you forgot to close that off. So just peg that into there like that. So flip this around. Peg that into there like that right there. And that goes in right there. So then lengthwise, again, from the trailer itself, from the edge of the trailer to about there, it's probably about 11 and a quarter inches. And then going from the trailer all the way to the front of the cab, it's about 16 inches. So he's a pretty, pretty large figure in this mode there. And he's nice. You know, it's really nice looking. Um, it's kind of funky here. Maybe the proportions are off in terms of, I guess, I'm just thinking of like, you know, Prime's trailer where it's fully down. But again, this isn't just Prime, it's Power Master Prime. And so even the Power Master G1 Prime had the same kind of odd proportions to where it wasn't kind of fully down. It was a smaller type of a trailer, so it works. So I want to get him transformed up into his final mode. Um, but before we do that, we're going to go ahead and put all his weaponry on him. And so you just grab his guns and put them. So these two will peg in one right here on this side. And the other one on the other side there, like this. The guns themselves, you have to combine these two guns up like that. And these will peg in one right here. And then the other one will peg into the top part as well. And now you got him pretty much in all of his glory with his guns on him. The G1 guy looks the same. Um, I don't have these. Again, I said earlier, I'm missing those, but they will plug in there and then you get the exact same look. So that's cool. He looks cool like that. Uh, you could take high Q here and peg him into these two pegs that are right there, those peg holes. You take this and using those two on the back of his legs, just plug them in right. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. There we go. Take him in like that, and now you have him. Um, excuse me. Now you have him in, kind of hanging out in the back of Prime right there, on the front of the trailer. So there that is. All right. Now let's go ahead and get him and get all the stuff up. We're gonna go ahead and get him into his uh, combined mode. So starting with the trailer, we're gonna take. Just open this stuff up right here. Open this stuff up right here. Come to the top. We gotta pop these open, which sometimes can be. A pain. I'll just grab a little screwdriver and just use it just as a pry tool. Pry that open. Pry these open like this. And this is going to unpeg right here. Like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Unpeg this one like that. And these will slide down. You can see that sliding hinge right there. So just take them, slide them down like so. That's going to fold away over and that peg is going to go into that slot right there and peg in. Now, this is my least favorite of all of them to do simply because of the cab itself. Not so much a trailer. The trailer is not the hard part. It's the cab and getting it into the trailer to make it, you know, supposedly exact. So, I'll show you that once we get into that part there. Just again, not my favorite of them to do. So, then take this. Just open up this like this. Fold these down like this. Fold this one away. Fold that away. Take these and actually, I didn't show that, but these actually are supposed to close and tab in together, but it's no big deal. So that goes like that. Down here on the foot, we want to just loosen everything up. So down here on the foot, take this and just kind of start to loosen everything up like this. And that loosens up kind of this heel spur back here. Like that. So you take all this, rotate that, and that foot comes forward like that, and then you can pull this down and sit it just like that, okay? So the same thing on the other side here, just get all this. And pull that, pull that foot forward, get that back like that. And down here, these sections are going to slide down. 
So that way this will sit inside the end of the foot here. So slide that down just like that. Slide that one down just like that to where it makes this flush right here. And the legs will, will come out as well. You can see they're up here like that. You just pull them and lock them into place like that. And you got the bottom portion of this done. And now let's pick this camera up so we can get higher up. Put it back there. Fix my camera up. All right. So coming up here, we're going to take these, unpeg this here, unpeg that there, flip this up right here, and then flip the head up as well, pulling all this open like this, and having this come down like that. Open these up. Flip the arms out. They're going to come, and it's going to flip down, peg into there, just like this. Peg that into that spot right there. Peg that one into that spot right there. And come down to the arm, and you're going to open this up. Flip out the hand right there. Rotate the wrist around. Close that back up. Like so. Again, over here. Back of that. Rotate the hand out. Close this back up. Come on, man. Close up right, dummy. Not wrong. Good thing I have nails. I gotta cut my nails, but it's always a good thing that I have my nails when I get to reviews. Because, man, if not, some things you just cannot get to. So, alright. I'm gonna leave this for right now like this because we're gonna have to transform the cab up. So for the most part, the trailer is done. I'm gonna set this trailer off to the side for right now. All right, I'll do this thing here and we're just gonna go ahead and kind of get him almost transformed up, kind of into robot mode, not really, but just a little bit. Open this up, open this up, and unpeg these to get this down like this. All right, so the whole point of this is, I'm gonna rotate this around like this and get this down. Before we do anything else, let's go. We gotta flip these and situate these back up inside there. So take this one, pull it in, and then pull it pull it up like so, all the way in. Then push that tire up, sitting on this side here. Just take that, rotate that in like that. Just make sure it's all pushed in and up and out of the way. This will rotate around like this. Open these flaps up right here, just like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and they're going to kind of hide inside here like this so you got to rotate that up but doing this you want to make sure that you have this section here and this is the instructions really weren't clear on i mean you look at the pictures and you can probably figure it out but it just took me forever to figure out but you want to have this all the way almost as far forward as you can because essentially this has to peg into that spot right there and you got these sliders which are kind of right here that i feel like they should have made these a little bit longer to let it sit in there better, but they just gave you just that much room. They could have done it. It wouldn't have messed anything up on the figure, I don't believe. I think they should have just made them lower. And so, because those sliders take these right here, slide into that. So they should have just made them lower to make it easier, but whatever. That's just me griping, I guess. So we got to get all this, and you want to keep these thighs as straight as possible. And then obviously making sure that the... Um, this section here, the, the crotch piece is also straightened up and squared away, okay? Just open it up. These will fold up into here, like this. Getting past, and this stuff's gonna come undone. We can try and peg this down, but it's gonna come undone, I promise you. It always has that right there. So you wanna take this, flip it up, and then make sure that this is gonna go over here. Uh, before we do that, let's do this. Let's collapse these wheels down like this because they got to collapse down like so and then get these flip that up into there and let's see it's already starting to be a little pain in my neck come on man knock it off just get that around there get myself situated better here so you guys can see what i'm doing this will take some concentration for me, seriously, like I'm not even joking. I got so frustrated with this part many a times that I just gave up on it and then came back to it and gave up on it and came back to it and gave up on it and came back to it and I was like, man, 
So let's take that, and we're gonna see if that's gonna be good enough. Take this one, do the same thing, fold it up into that spot right there. Make sure to get that around like that. And essentially, let's see, we got it. That's supposed to peg in, but there's no use in pegging that in right now because it's gonna end up having to come unpegged because uh, you gotta get the uh, neck armature in through there. So, but I wanna see if this is the right position for it. So you gotta make sure that the smokestacks are kinda sitting in those grooves right there, but sometimes the arms come undone. You gotta make sure that they get and sit just about like that inside there. All right, that looks about right. You're supposed to have this big gap right here underneath this part here. And this is supposed to stick down further than everything else. So I wanna say, and then this has gotta be squared up. So that's about right, I think. And I'm surprised I got it that easily, cause man, I'm telling you the last time, and this probably isn't right, but we'll see. The last time it took me forever to mess with this stupid thing. So we're gonna try it out and see if it sits in there just right. Let's check it out. And then these are gonna end up folding down, so we can just undo these right now, just because. All right, let's see. So take this, let me pick this camera up and stand up, Ryan. Right? Quit being a jerk, whatever. All right, we're gonna see if that's gonna work out. So this is supposed to just slide right inside those little spots right there. So take that one, slide it into there like that. And essentially that's supposed to come all the way down And you're supposed to be able to get that and sit it in right there at the bottom. And it kind of did actually work. So there you go. Just go back and rewatch what I did there. You gotta have that gap because that's gotta sit in there. If you don't, I promise you it's not gonna work and you're gonna be frustrated like I was. I was frustrated over and over and over again to the point where I was like, man, I'm done with this thing. So make sure these have to come up. Like I said, they gotta play again right there. So this whole section here, you got to get this up, and that's got to come around. And just kind of open that up because the slide this mechanism up like this, and the whole head has got to come around like this, and sit inside. I'm getting tall here. Sit through this spot, and this is just a, a, a mess. Like I said this is my least favorite of them to go into to transform because thing. I think is just. Just a freaking pain to me. So once you do that, that's supposed to peg into those two pegs are supposed to go into those two slots right there. And then again, those are supposed to come over there. So we're gonna see if that works. Go down. Go. And it's so much easier for someone to sit in your lap instead of sitting in front of a camera. That makes it a little bit harder. These collapse on the sides, those collapse onto the sides. Let's just see, that's still kind of a mess. I'm gonna try and clean that up, but the other part of it is getting this stuff squared up. So see, that's gotta be squared up there because these have to peg in to those slots right there. So I know that's not gonna peg in, you can see that. You can see we're still a mess, so let's get that down. Let's get these pegged in first. So we peg that in there, side right. Peg into there, and this whole thing has got to come down. And like I said, peg into there. Let me clean this up real quick. All right, I finally got it, and man, that was a chore. And so we're gonna talk about it. So I'm gonna pull that piece out again, and I'm gonna show you. And so these pieces finally will come back and just kind of, the legs gotta fold down and just kind of sit that behind his head. And all while doing that, the face piece popped out. And that actually is the real way to get the eyes out, not the way I said it earlier. Um, it popped out, but these will slide out. You just pop the face off, these will slide out like so. And you take the replacement eyes and put them into the the sockets there. So put that back in. And the head just, uh, the face rather, just pops in and out like that. It slid, actually popped off when I was messing with it. So good thing it did that because I was telling you guys the wrong way to do the eyes. So all right, there he is combined up. And let's go ahead and bring in his G1 counterpart to show them off together. 
And I actually show how big this guy got. I brought in MP Ultra Magnus, MB10, and then the G, excuse me, the G1 Power Master uh, Optimus there. So taking a look at all of them, uh, you can see he got a lot bigger when he combined up, which is expected. Obviously, you're combining his trailer with them, so uh, that's expected. But just to kind of show you his height, and that's that I have his legs kind of open in an A, in an a stance. So if we close them up, um, he'd be even taller than that. So just to kind of show you the size difference now on how he looks. He's a big figure. Um, and he's okay. I mean, he's not perfect, to be honest, but he's okay. Um, let me pull these guys off the side and then just kind of show him with his weaponry. So you get over there, you get over there. Guns again. Take the handle, flip it down. Come to the hand, open it up. Slide that into the back of the hand on that little groove. You got one. Take this, slide it down. You got the other you take the blasters here take them into the sides of the arms right here take the other blaster peg them into the side of the arm right here and there you go it's got a lot of temple graphing going on there which i like i know some don't like that but i do i like that you know i can't complain about that and then obviously take high q here and stick them right into the chest here so that kind of clicks in and just take him and plug him in right there. Stay in there, IQ. Come on. There we go. Now we got them all riled up, ready to go out and kick some butt. So let me put the other IQ back into my G1 and show them off again together. So they are again next to each other. This car show obviously it's come a long way since this guy here. That's a lot better in terms of posability, in terms of everything. But this piece here at the end, man, it's such a pain in the neck. I mean, I just cannot stress how bad it is for me, at least, to get that in there. And I've seen another few reviews on him, and uh, they stress the same kind of issues. So uh, just, you know, beware of that. The head is on a ball joint, can look all the way up and down. And the face sculpt itself is actually pretty cool. I like the eyes there, those are neat. Uh, the face is cool, I like it. Shoulders on a nice ratchet there. Can't come all the way out like that. He actually has the same uh, articulation that his just prime counterpart had there. Same thing with the hands on the wrist. Down here at the waist. He does have waist rotation as well. And you can make use of this here to kind of give some more articulation up and down. Coming down to the legs. Let me zoom out some. Can go out. Forwards. Backwards. Nice strong ratchets. Just not, And this one actually has more of a leg bend back there. So nice strong ratchets. The feet themselves can also, there's a lot of articulation in the feet. Forwards, backwards, side to side. So he's not, a, he's not a bad figure, but he's not a great figure, uh, to be quite honest. The thing that really keeps it for me is that whole mess right there. Getting that transformed up is just such a nightmare for me, to be honest. And so do I personally think it's worth the asking price? I personally do not. I would not pick this up for myself. I think I'd wait myself to see what's coming down the line, if anybody else is going to make it. But that's just me. I think that I think they just made it a little bit too difficult with that whole thing. You have to have everything just right. And so talking about that, I'm going to pull this all apart here and just kind of show you what I'm talking about. So let's enter all this here. First of all, getting everything in through here is a pain. You know, you got to have to get this whole thing in through there. And that's, that's a chore in of itself. Then on the cab section itself, you have to have this thing just right. Like it has to be just so. If you have it off by just a hair, it's not going to sit in there right. And you're not going to get everything pegged in well. The back portion won't peg in. The sides won't peg into the back. So this has to be just, I mean, spot on perfect. And so that's about how you have to have it. Like I said, that gap right there has to be there. This has to be pushed up. 
you know, just about to that spot right there. Uh, let me kind of get in there. Just kind of look at that. So if you're messing with yours and you want to see, that's about, you know, the way you got to have it. Everything's got to be squared up, you know, just so in order for it to go on. Because if not, I promise you're going to have problems getting this thing in and out of that or just getting it in to, to do as Power Master self. You know, we go back to the old G1 one. And that one was simple. It was just kind of like just fold the legs up. They already did it for you. You just get that. And that was it. You know, this one, man, this thing is, I don't know, it was just, it was frustrating for me. So I never talk ill about figures. And uh, if you've seen my reviews before, I said that I only like to review figures that I like. And I honestly believed I was going to like this guy. And I do to a certain degree. It's just this part here is what frustrates me the most is getting this put together. So take that for what it's worth, you guys. Um, you may find it easier. Maybe it's just me not doing something right. I don't know. But going by the directions and looking at other reviews on him uh, just just made it such a nightmare for me. So anyways, if you do like this figure and you think you're going to order one, I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can get one from. And um, I think that's it. Thank you guys as always for watching. And hopefully I can get something out to you before the new year. If not, I'll see you guys in the new year. Be careful on New Year's. If you guys do fireworks and all that kind of stuff, just be careful. Um, where I work, I'm actually a safety director, so I think about safety all the time. And so that's kind of why I end my videos with stay safe because, you know, I generally want you guys to stay safe so we can see each other and talk to each other in the future. So until next time, you guys, thanks for watching and stay safe.